life. Everything about Zoe is pure life and joy. <laughs> I am okay. What's your favorite thing to do? Play. <laughs> I also like sparkles and unicorn. The best way I can explain it is if you were to take a hairband, like what you would pull back in a ponytail, and continue to tighten it, and it cut off circulation to her entire right hand, the survival rate was quoted to me repeatedly. Are you afraid of anything? I'm afraid of spiders. I don't like to call her disabled because, quite honestly, she is perfectly able. <laughs> <laughs> Kindergarten class, the kids were scared. And that day, that minute, I started writing. It's me, Zoe. I write and I dance. I can do it all. This is the question that children ask the most. They'll be like, where did your hand go? And Zoe? I don't know. It just didn't grow. That was what she needed. It's the same thing as if, if she needed something else, if she needed a certain kind of adaption for her arm, we'd figure out a way to get it. She plays drums, she's on a rock wall. I was walking one of our 3D printers down the hallway and she just stopped me and was like, oh my gosh, that's a 3D printer. The more I dug into it, the more real it kind of became that this was doable. How do we make Zoe's life the best we can? And that was our focus. There's nothing that Zoe thinks that she can't do. She would love even more would be a way to shoot Nerf blasters. So the students at Tab Middle School are building adapters for Zoe's prosthetic arm to transform it into one that's part arm, part Nerf blaster. <laughs> so once they started creating the prototypes, we had a chance to meet with the Nerf engineers to take back to the drawing board as we work on the next step, which is actually attaching the Nerf uh, blaster to her prosthetic. We have eCPI, so they're gonna actually get to do the scan of Zoe's arm, and that will give us a really good 3D model that the students can then use to build off of. Like, real STEM is showing them that they can make a difference. A project like this, it's based in something real. This idea that they're doing by 3D printing those attachments and those adaptions is that this is more than just about Zoe. It was really the students that kind of said, if we can do this for Zoe, we can do this for any kid. Zoe, what do you tell people who tell you you can't do something? I can do it. And I tried, I tried my best. She can, she totally can. Your child totally can. Children like her, they find a way as long as we let them. <laughs>